What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Uh, this is a uh, sign reading for Sonic Cancer for September of 2022. This could resonate if you have cancer in any aspects of your chart. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter charts. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it apply. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with rest for your own collective reading. I encourage everybody to check out their Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Ortho, Moon, Moon, Hanger, Jupiter charts. Um, for additional message or messages if they apply for you okay love you guys um as i was meditating on your energy i got two messages from sonic cancer um i love you guys if you'd like to book a personal reading the information is in the description box below they're currently open just let everybody know okay so um the channel message i received was um the first one i heard a significant coffee can full of, uh, full of stuff full of cash um, that has been stolen is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. That was the first one. And the first one I heard, um, the second one I heard of Cancer is about to find out about pregnancy soon. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. So energies can be reversed. Um, it sounds like the coffee can full of stolen money, stuff full of cash full of stolen money. It's already been stolen. Now, um, it could have been yours or it could have been somebody you're connected to or you could have stolen it. However, that resonates and applies. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. But somehow, a significant coffee can stuffed full of cash that has already been stolen in the universe is about to become significant in your life in some shape, form, or fashion. You have to plug yourself in where you fit in that situation. And one of you guys is about to find out about pregnancy. Now, I feel for some, you could be pregnant, and you're about to find out with EBT, EPT, or how you, you know, first response, or whatever the little pee on the stick is. Um, for some, you could find out somebody else pregnant. You plug it in how it resonates, how that resonates and applies cancer. Desk, pay attention to your work. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. A significant meeting with a, um, an Aquarius soon. For some, it's a lawyer. For some, they're going to come to your work. For some, you're going to meet with this lawyer. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? So a significant meeting with an Aquarius soon. For some, it sounds like you're about to seek this Aquarius out. Uh, this Aquarius is a lawyer for, uh, for one of you guys. It sounds like you're going to seek this Aquarius lawyer out for service or services or consultation or what have you what have you um that's the situation one for situation two it's an aquarius that's about to visit your workplace so you plug it in however it resonates um cancer position of high authority about to visit your workplace position of high authority about to visit your workplace that's the truth you plug it in how it resonates number 32 could be very significant number in one's life number 32 um so yeah so for one of you guys, you're going to seek out some kind of legal advice or something. That's why it sounds like legal advice. Um, now, there's different types of law. There's family law, probate, um, criminal, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. So whatever you're seeking this um, property law, whatever you're seeking this Aquarius out for, for service or services, um, it could be a public defender or, well, if you're seeking them out, I think it's a private, private lawyer. But... You plug it in how it resonates. Uh, for some, it could be a public defender. You plug it in how it resonates. Spirit message be spirit protective. A fair and just decision coming for a very serious situation of the past. A fair and just decision coming for a very serious situation of the past. <clears throat> you plug it in how it resonates. A very just decision coming for a very serious situation of the past. 
So the very um, the just decision has not come yet for the um, very serious situation of the past, but it is soon. For some, you could be delivering this fair and just decision. For some, I feel you'd be a lawyer because I pull in a cancer lawyer from time to time. I'm not a lawyer, a cancer judge, but you don't you don't have to be. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. I didn't hear you were a judge, but I do I do pull in a cancer judge from time to time. You plug it in how it resonates, but truth coming out about a fair and just decision on a very serious situation of the past. So you plug it in how it resonates, cancer. Nine of swords upright, nine of pentacles upright, princes and wands upright. Number 32 could be a very significant number, number 32. A cancer is about to deliver some very serious situation, uh, serious information on a Libra feminine and a Scorpio masculine criminals. And a Pisces feminine. Okay, so you plug in how it resonates cancer. So you're about to deliver some very serious information, some truth. On I heard a Pisces femme, a Libra femme, and a Scorpio masculine criminals. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. Only you know your situation and story, not anybody else. And an Aries masculine. And an Aries masculine. So we have Scorpio masculine criminal, Aries masculine criminal, Pisces femme criminal, criminal Libra femme criminal. Uh, if this resonates with you, you're delivering this information on these criminals. For one, it could be one criminal you're delivering information on. For one, it could be two or three plus. But we have at least four people in here. You plug in how it resonates. Or Scorpio masculine, Aries masculine, Libra femme, um, cancer, uh, not cancer femme. Um, there was two femmes, two masculines. Scorpio masculine, Aries masculine, um, Pisces femme, Libra femme. You plug it in how it resonates. And a Virgo feminine. And a Virgo masculine. And a Virgo femme and a Virgo masculine. And a Virgo femme and a Virgo masculine. That's a lot of criminals. But, you know, for some of you guys, it could be one criminal. For some, it could be two or two plus. You plug it in how it resonates, okay? A cancer was trying to lure in a Leo feminine in a workplace situation, but they're about to, they have already realized it's not going to work. This person is building abundance on their own, and they have been for a long time. Know this. Okay, so if this resonates for you, you're cancer and you've been trying, I heard, to lure in a Leo femme in a workplace dynamic, then that never sounds good when you're trying to lure somebody in. I just want to make that clear if anybody needs to hear that. Why are you trying to lure somebody in a workplace situation? That sounds like um, scary shit. Um, just saying, just saying. Nobody wants to be lured in. They want to be told the truth. If you're trying to lure them in, there's a reason you're trying. And it's obviously to benefit you and not them. Uh, I mean, I'm not trying to be mean. I'm just being for real. I did hear lure in. So it sounds like some kind of like predatory energy. And that's just the truth. Um, I didn't hear you were predatory. I didn't hear you were predatory, Cancer. But you just need to reevaluate why you're trying to lure somebody into a workplace dynamic is all I'm trying to say, okay? I've been in many of them. And most people are not straight and upfront about workplace dynamics. They're just not. Because there's so much shit people hide. And that's just the truth, for real, for real. Okay? Not judging you, but be my needs to hear that. But there's a reason you're trying to lure her in is what I'm trying to say. And I don't think it's to benefit her. Okay? But I heard that you um, basically um, realize she is growing abundance on her own. So I think she's self-employed. I think she owns her own business or businesses, two or two plus businesses. Her, she has been for a while. So, uh, I think she's been self-employed for a while. One, you already know this. For one, you didn't. 
for one, you already knew this, and for one, you didn't. So for one, you already knew she was self-employed and been self-employed for a while. For one, you didn't. So you plug it in how it resonates, Cancer, how that resonates, okay? But I think your heaven, stress, anxiety, worry, fear, the one that didn't know, one of you guys did know she was self-employed and had been doing, has been self-employed for a while. The one that didn't know, and it could be the one that didn't know. You have stress, anxiety, worry, fear. She's growing her business. I don't think you want her to be independent financially. I don't know why you wouldn't want anybody to be independent financially. And that's just the truth. But um, unless you benefited from it. Now the pinnacles upright. She's building her pinnacles. She's growing her pinnacles. She's at the nine to the ten, man. This Leo fans coming in as the princess of wands upright, which is like the nine of wands. So I think she's either 18 to 25 or she's just youthful, young and inner, youthful and energetic like an 18 to 25 year old. Because she's pulling up as princess of wands, like not a wands energy. Fire sign energy, a lot of desire, drive, and motivation towards her business or businesses as being a self-employed individual. You plug it in how it resonates cancer, okay? I'm going to pull you another spread. And that's the truth. One, you already knew she was self-employed. One, you didn't. I think you're about to find out. A call from the state is about to become very significant in Cancer's life soon. <clears throat> one, you work in a courthouse. One, you work at a skilled nursing facility. One, you work at a hospital. A call from the state is about to become very significant in Cancer's life. One, you work at a courthouse. One, you work at a hospital. One, you work at a skilled nursing. You plug it in how it resonates, Cancer. So um, there's at least three of you guys. When you work at a hospital, when you work at a skilled nursing, when you work at a courthouse. Three of Pinnacles upright, nine of wands upright, six of wands reversed. A fire sign is trying to get communication to a particular cancer, but is being blocked. <clears throat> but through many shocking series of chain events, you're about to get it in an unexpected way, an unexpected way you would have never expected. <clears throat> okay, so you plug in how it resonates, cancer. So a fire sign is trying to get you um, in communication. I think it's a masculine because he's coming in not a one's um, upright. Uh, but it could be a, a them taking on heavy masculine. Just saying, just saying. Um, they're trying to get you communication in some shape, form, or fashion. Um, I, I don't feel it's like telepathic. I think it's like real communication. Um, real communication. Real communication. This is confirmation. Real communication, not telepathic. Um, but I heard they're being blocked, strategically being blocked. But through many series of chain of events, you're about to get it in an unexpected way. So I think they're about to find a loophole or a way around it to get you the communication or somebody else delivers it to you. Um, they see the truth on the matter and they're about to deliver it to you. Now, I didn't hear how you're going to get it, but it's going to be in an unexpected way. And it's not the way, original way that he try, he or she tried to get it to you. I'll tell you that. Uh, but it's strategically being blocked from you. I'll tell you that. Six of Wands reverse block, 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 block. And that's just the truth. So you plug it in how it resonates, okay? Um, I think he wants to work with you. You have three pinnacles upright. For some, I think this could be like an application or a resume or something like that. Because <clears throat> we have the three pinnacles. So for some, I think he could be trying to put an application or resume in at your um, if you work at a place of employment. And somebody's trying to block that shit is what I think for some. For some, it could be communication about anything else. You plug it in, how it resonates, cancer. But he's coming in with lots of desire, drive, and motivation, I'll tell you that, for sure. Truth.
A heart attack of an Aquarius? You're about to find out about a heart attack of an Aquarius. It's about to shock the hell out of you. And severe eye issues. A heart attack of an Aquarius. You're about to find out about a heart attack of an Aquarius. Heavy Aquarius energy in here. Heavy. Uh, one of you guys is about to find out about a heart attack of an Aquarius. Uh, so am I. Myocardial infarction of an Aquarius. Um, I don't know if this is a widow maker or not. I didn't hear that. But um, you're about to find out about it. Truth on the heart attack of the Aquarius. It's about to make you do something you would have never thought you were going to do. But you're about to do it. When you find out about this heart attack of this Aquarius, it's about to make you do something you never thought you would do. So doing something risky and taking a chance, I heard you never thought you were going to do it. Um, when you learn the truth on this myocardial infarction of this Aquarius, it hasn't happened yet. It sounds like, I don't know if the MIs happened yet, but probably not because MIs, uh, people take very seriously and they should. Um, so I don't think it happened yet. I think it's upcoming. But, um, but if it has happened already, you don't know about it. I'll tell you that. You do not know about it yet. I don't think it's actually happened, but you plug in and how it resonates. But however that resonates, you're about to um, you're about to learn the truth on it. And I heard once you learn the truth on it, it's about to make you do something you never thought you'd do. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. Coins, money will be coming to you. There's about to be a serious conflict, workplace conflict. Serious. It's about to be so bad, there might be a physical altercation. A Taurus is involved. For one, you're going to have to break this fight up. And through many series of chain events, the Taurus will be terminated. It's a masculine Taurus. He has had physical altercations with people before in this workplace dynamic. He's going to try to sue when he gets terminated, but you will know there's nothing he can do about it. There's a history of this. Oh my God. In a hospital. In a hospital. Jesus, Lord of mercy. He's a RN. He's a RN. Oh my God Almighty. What the fuck? You know, I get wrongfully terminated and I'm a RN and I don't hit nobody. In fact, I got a freaking door slammed on my hand. By a charge nurse. But you've got RNs up in hospitals, masculine RNs, fighting people? And this isn't the first time? But yet I get wrongfully terminated? What? Like, what would what? That makes no fucking sense if anybody needs to hear that. Just saying, just saying. Okay, so I'm pulling the story of this masculine RN, Taurus, in very strong. I heard this is not his first time. It's not his first time with physical altercations, and he works in a hospital. So this is not the first time he's put on hands on people physically. I would have never put physical hands on anybody at any workplace I've ever worked at, but yet I get wrongfully terminated. Where's the justice in that? Because there's not, if anybody needs to hear that. That is sick in the head is what that is. But apparently he has a history of knucking it till you bucking it, fighting, fighting, fighting. Heard it's not the first time. He's about to get into another physical altercation, I heard. Um... And this time, one of you guys, one of you cancers, is going to be involved in helping break it up and helping terminate him, apparently. But I heard, um, and yeah, he should he should have been terminated after the first time, if anybody needs to hear that. He should have been terminated after the first time he put hands on somebody, if somebody needs to hear that. That's abuse of coworkers. Hope God he didn't put hands on patients, because that really is abuse. I mean, that's abuse no matter what, but I'm just saying the same. I'm pretty sure it probably wasn't a patient. He would have got a huge-ass patient complaint to the corporate compliance hotline. At least I would hope so. Just saying. But anyway, so I heard he's about to get terminated. And he's going to try to sue. He's going to try to sue the company or the hospital or what have you, what have you. But I heard he won't have a leg to stand on, basically. Because this is not the first rodeo with him. 
This is not the first time he's put hands on people. This is some sick shit. He needs some anger management is what he needs. And I'm serious. He's been, it's let go and let go and let go the first time. He thought he could get away with it. Someone's getting a huge wake up call. So I'm serious. If you might need to hear that. But one of you guys is going to be in charge this second time. Now, he could have gotten a fight one time previous or two or two plus times previously. But however that resonates, he has a history of physical altercations fighting with people, probably co-worker or co-workers in a hospital. I would never dream of doing that, ever. But yet, I'm sitting over here unemployed from a hospital. If you might need to hear that. That is sick. But I heard one of you guys is going to be um, basically helping break it up. And one of you guys is going to be in charge of terminating him. And yeah, I don't blame you. Because that, damn. He needs some anger management. And some time to sit and think about what the hell he did. Truth. Money will be coming to you. He is going to be so angry. I heard he's going to be so angry. Well, he shouldn't be fighting with people. This is going to cause a ripple effect, series of chain of events, and an Aries will be investigated after this. And it's not going to go well for this Aries. This Aries has protected this Taurus. Oh my God. I heard it's going to create a ripple effect after this Taurus gets into this physical altercation with um, whoever they're about to get in altercation with, uh, where they're going to put hands on people, person or people, uh, physically in a hospital. And very unprofessional, by the way, very. And uh, it's going to create an investigation. And basically, an Aries has been protecting this Taurus masculine. It could be masculine or fem Aries. The Aries has been protecting the Taurus masculine. But I heard the Aries will be under heavy investigation. And it's not going to go well for this Aries. And it's not going to go well for this Aries. And so it's going to cause, I think the Aries is the Taurus's boss. Either current boss or former boss. But somehow the Aries has been protecting this Taurus. Like, I think they knew about all the physical altercation or altercations. And I'm presuming this Taurus is not a very upstanding call. I mean, my God, I would never want to work around this Taurus. Never. I would not feel safe. And that's just the truth. Um, and I'm sure he probably doesn't make other co-workers feel safe. If they knew, he put hands on people. That's the truth. I'm serious. But I heard the Aries is going to be under, it's going to cause a creative ripple effect. The Aries is going to be under heavy investigation. It's not going to well for them either. I mean, it is what it is, man. That's sick. Coins, money will be coming to you. A side hustle for one, a second income stream for one, a rental income stream for one. A side hustle income stream for one of you guys. For one, it is um, a second income stream. And for one, it is a rental income stream. So money will be coming to you from the rent, from the rental property or Airbnb or the second in income stream, whatever that is, or the uh, side hustle. Whatever that is for you. I feel like it's Eats or Postmates or something like that. Probably that resonates, okay? DoorDash, something like that. A cancer is about to put an official abuse report in on a Libra feminine for one, for one, a Virgo feminine. Very secret, very in private. For one, a Scorpio masculine. For one, an Aries masculine. Very secret and in private. 
Oh. And for one, you're about to report a nurse for drug usage. It's about to create a huge investigation on them. Know this. But intuitively, you know that you knew this. Holy shit moly. So you plug it in how it resonates. Man. So, okay. So for some of you guys, you're about to report um, a lot of reporting. A lot of secret reporting in urgent. There was a lot of signs that so you have to go back and check. Um, but you're going to do this very secret and private. So you don't want people to know. You don't want backlash. You don't want gossip. You don't want people to talk get in your business and know you're doing it um privacy and confidentiality basically and i don't blame you that's exactly how i would do it too and i have reported a nurse when i worked at the hospital the same one i was i talked about on here earlier from may um sorry january 2022 to may of 2022 i had to report a nurse in the er for shooting up unknown medication into her buttocks and she ended up getting her license revoked true story but the hospital employees hated me there for it. They hated me for it. And I'm serious. They did. They gossiped, gossiped, gossiped about it. And you would have thought they would have been happy. I was protecting us as uh, employees and patient care. But they didn't. Because they, they didn't. It was opposite. They were pissed at me because it was their frenzy. And that's just the truth. A cancer is getting a huge wake-up call. A cancer is getting a huge wake-up call. I'm serious. That is the truth, you guys. That's the truth. Politics around that little buddy buddy system hospital and that's just the damn truth you would have thought if they used their brains they would have been happy protecting patient care patient safety and employee health and safety but no they were all butthurt because it was their little frenzy well their little frenzy can needs to go get some uh rehab or addiction treatment or something like that and that's just the truth because her ass cheek was literally hanging out she didn't even go to the bathroom and the patient across the patient triage window saw her as I saw her trying to go in to get the EKG machine. Like my jaw was dropping. And she knew her ass had been caught. She ran out after fully injecting, I might add, to the bathroom after running uh, running and pulling her, out, her scrub pants up. Like what? So one of you guys, you're about to report a lot of people in secret, basically. And one, you're about to report a nurse, I heard, for drug usage. Now, I will tell you, whoever's about to report the nurse for drug usage, you don't have to be a nurse to report a nurse. And that's just the truth. You don't. You go to the Board of Nursing website. You make your official report. Be my doesn't know that, okay? You do not have to be a nurse to report a nurse. I mean, I was a nurse that reported a nurse, but you don't have to be, is what I'm saying, okay? But whatever you report, just make sure it's the truth. That's the only thing I'm saying. Just make sure it's the truth. Don't lie. Because if you lie, it's going to come back firing on your ass. And you don't want that. Okay? So a little helpful hint. Okay? But for others of you guys, you're about to report something else. Very secret and private. But it's something to do with somebody in your community. It's several people. It could be one person or two or two plus. You'll have to go back and check the signs for all those. I think it was like Scorpio mask, killing Virgo femme. There was a bunch of signs. Libra femme, blase, blase, blase. But I feel for some, you might get a reward. You have money coming to you. So I think you might get a reward for this um, or something like that. Um, especially if it involves fraud or something. Because I don't know if anybody knows, but um, to my knowledge, if you, um, I could be wrong, but to my knowledge, certain things, if you report like fraud, and identity fraud and theft, uh, no, I think it's fraud. You'll have to Google it and see. But there's certain things, like if you report it to like um, certain governing agencies like state or federal for big things like identity theft and fraud and things of that nature, if they apprehend these people, you can get a reward, to my knowledge. And that's just the truth. So this might be reward money, possibly. One of you knows a huge, huge, huge one. And you're about to report it very quickly and you will get a reward. One of you guys knows a huge one. I heard a huge, huge, huge one and you're about to report it and get a reward. Uh, I did hear a reward. Now, there's 14,400 um, or something you guys on here or 300 and almost 400. So I don't know. I don't know what kind of rewards you're going to get. I have no idea. But, um, uh, it just might be for one of you guys, but 
But one is reward energy. Does pay attention to your work. One, you are a supervisor in a skilled nursing facility and someone's trying to sabotage you. Intuitively, you know this. For one, you're a supervisor in a skilled nursing facility and I heard someone's trying to sabotage you, but intuitively, you know this. So, for one of you guys, you're a supervisor in a skilled nursing facility, so pay attention to your work because somebody in this skilled nursing facility, or it might be corporate, is trying to sabotage your work. I doubt it's corporate, though. Um, corporate has no reason to sabotage your shit. At least, I, I'm presuming. Um, I think it's somebody in your facility. And that's just, I, I'm just being for real, for real. I don't think it's actual corporate. Corporate would, I would think they'd want to promote you. Um, and if you're doing a good job, um, I would think. Um, so if, my point is, if they're trying to sabotage you, I think it's somebody under you. I don't think it's somebody above you. I'm presuming. Hell, you never know with crazy ass folks, though, and that's just the truth. So, anyways, um, pay attention to your work. You're a supervisor in a skilled nursing facility. I think it's probably somebody underneath you, but I would really keep my eyes on everybody, and that's just the truth. Don't give your password out to anybody. Don't get. Don't let somebody swipe your badge if you have his badge. Don't um, you know, use the cellophane with this um, this fingerprint and let them. Cell, uh, put the little cellophane on the thing for the fingerprint. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them. Don't let them. Just saying, just saying, okay? Protect your identity. Protect yourself. Protect your work. One of you guys is a supervisor in a skilled nursing facility. Somebody's trying to sabotage shit. I don't care how buddy-buddy and how friendly frenzies, frenzies they are with you. And that's just the truth. Tiger doing something risky, taking a chance. A cancer is about to betray a Leo feminine in a huge way, but it's about to backfire on you this time. It did not in the past. Oh, a cancer is about to betray a Leo feminine in a huge way. I heard it did not backfire on you in the past, but it's about to this time. In a huge way, it's regarding an investigation. In a huge way, it's regarding an investigation. So, you betrayed a Leo feminine in the past, whoever this Leo fem is, but this time, I heard it's going to backfire on your ass. So whoever you are and who this Leo fam is, they can have Leo in their sun, moon, rising, Venus, North, and Manhattan, or Jupiter charts. You apparently betrayed her in the past. It could be one time or 50 million times. Hell, I don't know. Only you know how many times you betray people, and that's just the truth. Um, I think it's probably regarding, your, it sounds like you're going to lie. Why? Is what it sounds like. Yeah, most certainly going to lie. Confirmation. Most certainly going to lie. That's confirmation. Um, but... I heard it's going to backfire on you in a huge ass way this time. I think whoever's doing the investigation, they know the truth already before they come in there and question you. That's what I think. So somebody needs to be careful. I mean, these investigators, they, everybody needs to hear this. People, investigators, and I'm not an investigator, but I'm not dumb either. These investigators are trained to detect like a lie detector sniffer before they come in and question folks. Everybody needs to hear that, okay? And a cancer that works in corporate, about to send out a very important letter soon. Very important. Tennessee is significant. Colorado is significant. Alabama is significant. Florida is significant. And a cancer that works in corporate is about to send out some very important um, mail communication. Mail communication. Very important mail communication. Um, you work in corporate. If this resonates for you, I heard... Colorado, Alabama, Tennessee, and Florida are significant. Colorado, Alabama, Tennessee, or Florida. So I feel you could reside in Cal Cal Alabama, Alabama, California, Alabama, Tennessee, or Florida. 
or the person you're about to send mail communication resides possibly in Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, or what's the other one? Brain fart. Alabama, Tennessee, Florida, or Colorado. You plug in how it resonates, okay? Um, I think it might be something risky you're about to do. It's some kind of mail communication. Um, and I think it has something to do with the job because we have to pay attention to your work or regarding a, a job or position or something. How that resonates and applies, okay? Some kind of truth. But if that resonates for you, you work in corporate. Cancer. Uh, okay, let me see if I hear anything else. A significant meeting, coffee meeting, is about to become very significant between a cancer and another individual soon. You do not live in this person's city. A significant coffee meeting is about to be significant between a cancer and a, a feminine energy and a feminine energy. I heard this feminine energy does not live in your city. Um, and this... It's some kind of coffee meeting, so I don't know if this is going to be Starbucks or another, the coffee clutch or what have you, what have you. But um, it sounds like you're going to invite this Fem Energy out for coffee or they're going to invite you out for coffee. Uh, for some, I feel it could be regarding work or money, maybe a business idea or ideas. Um, but it's some kind of, it hasn't happened yet, some kind of significant, um, like, coffee date it doesn't have to be like a date date but like a coffee meeting between you and this femme energy cancer you do not live in her city um far distances far distances i heard you live far distances from her uh for however that resonates i think a lot of truth's gonna come out at this coffee meeting i keep hearing coffee clutch coffee clutch um maybe that i i don't know is that a is that a chain Starbucks is a chain. Is Coffee Clutch a chain? I said it, but I was just speaking out my ass. Maybe there is a coffee house called a Coffee Clutch. I don't know. I just said Coffee Clutch, and then I heard Coffee Clutch. So, I don't know. You plug in how it resonates cancer. All right. I love you guys. Everybody have a good day, and namaste.